Here's our new base controller, and I'm going to run through the Ableton Live remote script. Uh, the remote script uh, currently is set up just like our uh, own modes remote script, where we have different modes um, or different pages. So the first page is uh, page one, uh, where you'll see you'll have uh, track control here, um, where you have uh, your standard uh, live controls. This is all track volume. This is track select. Uh, this is this is always actually going to be your master. Um, and if you're on an audio track, uh, you can go ahead and launch clips. If you um, are on an instrument, you can record that instrument. Um, now, if I have a clip launch, let's see, I have two clips launched here, uh, and I hold down uh, one, that'll bring me to additional track controls. This is track enable, uh, this is solo. Uh, this is arm record and this is stop all clips. So if I go back here and get my clips playing again and I go into mode two, these are my sends. Um, so per track I have uh, eight sends here because I have uh, eight faders. Um, so between one and two, the only thing that's going to change is your faders. It goes from volume to um, sends. Now if I go to mode three, that brings me to device control. So each uh, Track, I can have my own device. So if I'm on an audio track, I have my device control uh, for this track that's playing. You see it's controlling the device I have currently selected. Um, I can still do things like you know trigger clips. Now I'm on track two. Um, so you can see how this this is nice because you can jump between different settings and get different um, uh, fader controls. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these devices off. So I have my regular control here. Uh, now I'll get up, hold down shift. I can just go ahead and stop clips. Okay. Now instruments. Instruments are a little bit different. Uh, if you're in mode one, uh, you're basically recording to an, uh, uh, an instrument, uh, a track in that MIDI track. Uh, if you're in mode two, you can play your instrument. So let's just do something basic like a drum kit. So I have a drum kit loaded in here. Uh, of course, I need to turn the volume up. Uh, go back to my kit. And the um, faders in um, mode three, when you're on an instrument, will control the macros for that. So right here, the velocity sensitive sensitivity turned way down. But if I turn it up, I can get you know, variable um, pressures. So that gives me all my device control on an instrument. Um, again, if I go to two, it's just sends on that instrument. Um, and I can switch between instruments. So this is an audio track, so there's nothing loaded. Uh, let me go to something else, like a keyboard. Okay, so here is my keyboard. Um, so when you're in this mode, uh, this changes the um, the octave of the keys. And this changes the scale, so there's multiple scales and you can adjust the octaves here. Uh, the nice thing about this playing surface is it's everything's really low profile so you can play straight across. Okay, the last mode we have is the uh, MIDI learn modes. Uh, now these are basically user map modes so you can go ahead and map anything you want into these modes um, so you're not stuck with just the different um, uh, pages that you have here. So I'm going to go ahead and start a track up and show you some uh, mappings I have made myself. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger a clip. And what I have here is I have my pads mapped to different uh, effects. So depending on how hard I press is how hard the uh, amount of that effect is. So in essence, I'm treating these like um, faders or knobs. 
just by giving them a little bit of pressure or lightening up on them. So you can do cool things with this. Say I had a beat repeat that I like. I go back to one, I got that repeat going. I could start another clip. Go back to my track and play those effects some more. Okay, stop clips. That pretty much wraps up the uh, remote script as it is now. There's some things we're going to be adding uh, before base is actually shipping. Uh, but if you have any ideas or suggestions for it, uh, feel free to post something on our forums at forum.liveninstruments.com.